how to make videos with your iPhone. Hey, you've been wanting to make videos, right? You've been thinking, Oh my God, I don't want to spend all this money for a fancy camera and lighting and all these things, which I actually I'm looking at right now, but I will tell you some of the most successful channels on YouTube, the people use iPhones. Now, are there other good phones out there? Yeah, but you clicked on this because you probably have an iPhone and you know, an iPhone is good and you know, an iPhone has good sound and you know, an iPhone has good video. And guess what I have right here? I got me an iPhone. It's got my little timer on there. So I know how long I'm talking, right? I use it for so many things. It's a timer. It's my email. It, it's my stocks. It's, it's video. It's everything. Okay. Now when we film videos, uh, oftentimes we use iPhones. So I want to do this video and show you guys how to use your iPhone and how to get the best results out of it. Let's get started right now. If you're not making videos now, it's be probably because you don't think you have the resources. You don't have the time or you don't have the money or you don't have the equipment and odds are it's sitting right in your pocket right now. If you've got an iPhone now, mine never sits in my pocket. Really. It always sits next to me because I gotta get, I get really close to it, right? I gotta be there. But what I want to do is give you a list of things to do to get the best quality videos from your iPhone. Now, the first thing, number one, one, find a quiet place. Now this may sound really obvious to you, but it's not obvious because if you look at a lot of the videos online, it's really noisy. There's stuff going on in the background. There's dogs barking, there's trucks driving by and all this. And I understand if you, if you just don't have any place you can go, then you're going to have to do it in a noisy environment, but I bet you do. I bet you could find a quiet room. I bet you could shut a door. I bet you could go outside somewhere where there's no traffic, go to a park. I mean, we have parks all over in San Diego, so I can go stand by a lake somewhere and shoot a video, but try to find a quiet place. That's number one. Your sound quality is so important. Now I use an external mic and I have one on right now. However, you don't need that right now with an iPhone. As long as you're within three or four feet of the phone, you're going to be fine. Now, when you start to exceed that, what happens is the range of the microphone gets everything. So if there's a noise 10 feet behind you or 50 feet behind you, it's going to grab that too. So understand that if you're going to be shooting with an iPhone, you want to shoot within maybe three or four feet to get the best quality sound. Number two, I know, I know this seems obvious too. make sure you have enough storage on your phone. Too often we take tons of pictures and I'm guilty of it too. Maybe we're taking a screenshot to send somebody, or maybe we're taking a picture, a picture of something that's broken or a shirt in the store to send, you know, a relative. And we don't go back through and we don't delete all those things, those useless videos, those useless pictures, they eat up the memory in your phone. And if you don't have the memory in your phone, you're not going to be able to do video. So make sure you clear out your phone. Now you may get this recording on your screen. So this recording here, it says cannot record video. There's not enough available storage to record your video. You can manage your storage and your settings. Now, if we go over to settings, you're going to see a screen like this and it's, it's your under your general tab storage and iCloud usage. It says used and available. And then it's got a manage storage there. So you'd want to click on your manage storage. Okay. And you can change your storage plan. Now, if you want to keep this stuff on your phone, you can change your storage plan. I think I pay $2 and 99 cents a month for my storage plan. And it gives me all I need for $2 and 99 cents. So you may want to check that out. Now, number three is when you're recording on your iPhone, understand that if, if it's like it is to you, it is to me, I've got my Facebook on there. I've got my email on there. I've got all kinds of stuff on there. I've got my stocks on there. And if you've got a bunch of notifications coming in when you're filming, it's going to mess you up. So the first thing you want to do is turn off all notifications. All you got to do to do that blanket to everything without having to individually turn off your notifications is just swipe up, click on the crescent moon on your iPhone, and that will shut down all those notifications. Here's a picture of it on the screen right there. You can see it. All you do is click on and we call it do not disturb, but basically it's turning off all of your notifications so that you don't get them. Now here's a pro tip. Okay. Do not disturb is a great way to watch YouTube videos, play games and sleep interrupted too. So if you're wanting to do all these other things and not get interrupted, turn that on when you're doing it. Number four, we're getting into a little bit of equipment, but not much here. And I'll put a link below as to where you can get one of these. Use a tripod. Um, oftentimes if you have somebody holding the camera or you're holding the camera, then it's going to have a little bit of a shakiness to it. So if you can get a tripod of some sort, and even if you don't have a tripod, you could stack up some books or some boxes or whatever, and put your phone on top of that. So it gives it more stability. That shakiness in a video can turn people off. Number five, man, this is the biggest one is it's called light your video. Now I'll give you an example of my lighting here real quick. So you can see it. Okay. So here is 
the lighting, there's my camera, and you can see I got a light there, I got a light there, I got a light there, I got a light there. So there's a lot of lights I've got on in my office. Now, do you have to use all these lights? Of course not. As a matter of fact, you don't have to use any lights whatsoever, but you need to think about your lighting in advance. So if I'm going to shoot a video and I'm by a window that has light, I'm not going to have the window behind me. You don't want anything backlit. If you have it backlit, your face is going to look dark. If you're going to film in front of a window, what you want to do is stand facing the window and film from the window towards your face. And that way you're front lit. If you're front lit, you're going to show up better. Nothing's worse than watching a dark video. Now here's another piece of equipment. You don't have to do it. I recommend it and I'm doing it right now. And that's use a microphone. There are plenty of microphones you can hook up to your iPhone. I have one right here and it's hooked into the camera in front of me. Now I'm not using an iPhone to film right now, but we oftentimes will use an iPhone. I know my wife uh, does a question and answer thing for pets and we will set up the main camera and then we'll set up the iPhone off to the side. So we have two angles and we film those at the same time. So we're actually using the iPhone and a DSLR camera too. We choose to use the audio from the microphone though, not the iPhone, because it is going to be a little bit better. It doesn't mean you have to do it, but understand, like I said in the beginning, if you get more than three or four feet away, from a subject and you're using a microphone on your iPhone, it's not going to be as good a quality and you want as best quality audio that you could possibly get. This is number seven. And oh my gosh, this drives me nuts. When I see this, I see these two black bars, turn your phone horizontally. Don't have a vertical video. I see so many people holding their phones up and it's vertical. And I know, I know they're going to have those two black bars on the side. Okay. So don't do that. If you turn your phone sideways horizontally and hold it like this, or put it in a bracket like that, you're going to get a whole lot better video. That's going to fit on YouTube. It's going to fit on your video screen. It's going to fit where it should fit. Number eight, don't use your iPhones zoom. Now you say why well because it distorts the video if you're using the zoom on the video you're not going to get the quality that you could get if you don't use the zoom now if you have to i get it you have to but if you can stay away from that please do so and you'll get a whole lot better quality video number nine lock your exposure now iphones are really good for adjusting to exposure but while filming a video if they constantly adjust it can affect the quality of your video so what you want to do is set up whatever exposure you know you have and then lock that exposure here's an example on the screen right here where i've got the actual exposure locked so that it does focus correctly on the subject number 10 edit not on your iphone here's where we get away from the iphone you want to edit on a computer you can do so much more on a computer and i know there are ways to edit on an iphone and there's a lot of apps that helps you edit on the iphone I still use a computer. I use a good software. I use Camtasia. I'll put a link below, but bottom line is if you edit on a computer, you're going to get a lot better results and you can do more things with it. So there you have it. You can film videos with your iPhone. There are some things you're going to need to do. There's going to be certain ways you're going to need to go about it. You know, maybe the lighting you're going to need to look at, maybe a microphone you're going to need to look at. Um, you want to look at the distance. Of course you want to make sure you, you go horizontally okay those are important but bottom line is don't let it stop you you may not even have an iphone maybe you're watching this video and oh just oh my god you don't have an iphone the, the world's coming to an end no you still have something you can film with if you have a phone and you do a video think about this for a second you do a video and it's not a great phone and it's not a great video but you do a video and you put it up on youtube how many views you're going to get okay set that aside now pretend that you don't do a video and you don't put it up on YouTube. How many, how many views are you going to get approximately? That's right. None. So something's better than nothing. You say, well, JR, I want it to be perfect. I want it to be so good. I want it to look so good. You're never going to achieve perfection. This is not going to happen. Okay. Every time I do a video, I've got mistakes somewhere. Every time I write something, I've got mistakes somewhere. Every time I work out, I got mistakes. Everybody has mistakes. You got to deal with that perfection and i've seen people say you well, know i'm a perfectionist i'm a per you know you're not because you're not perfect okay you may strive to be perfect but you'll never achieve it so you're not a perfectionist what perfection really is is procrastination that's disguised okay so if i if i say i want to do a perfect video so i've got to have the right camera the right lights the right circumstance the right script and all this and i just don't have all that together yet all i've really done is just procrastinated i've just put it off i've just not done it it allows me to not do something and call myself a perfectionist 
you're not perfect you never will be perfect if you are perfect post below and say hey i'm perfect i would love to hear that and i want to hear why you think you're perfect but if you're not perfect post below and tell me why you're not perfect tell me what your experience has been in filming have you done any filming have you used a camera do you have a camera have you tried to use your iphone before put that in the comments below now if you have any questions about how to do any of this if you have questions about these lights or cameras or scripts or any of that stuff put that in the comment section below and don't forget also you need to subscribe it's really important that you subscribe to this channel and you ring the bell turn on all bell notifications once you subscribe that bell will pop up and when you do that I'll be able to let you know every single time I do a new video cool huh you'll be part of the Fisher family the VIP group that gets notified also when I go live I'll be able to tell you about that too I did include a bonus I didn't tell you about it to the end I know below there is a link to a $97 course that you can get absolutely free all you have to do is click the link and learn no credit card required give me a thumbs up if you like this thumbs down if you didn't oh, please give me a thumbs up okay but if you do I really appreciate it I'll see that thumbs up I'll thank you for that I really will share this video if you think it's good content thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel